In this video, I am going to let you see how I keep up to date and con consistent with my content creation, my live streams, my home and personal life, and even my part-time job. And all this with the use of one completely free app. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all looking good and feeling super duper fine today. Well, whatever I'm doing, I like to try and keep organized and consistent, producing content across a range of platforms, including Instagram and Twitch, requires me to know what I need to do throughout the month in order to keep consistent. As well as this, I have to ensure that I keep my role playing campaigns up to date, my part time job sorted and even regular, more boring tasks like keeping the flat clean all completed on a regular basis. I've been investing time in task managers for a number of years now, ever since reading David Allen's book, Getting Things Done. If you haven't read it and you want to be productive and organised, then I'll pop a link to it in the show notes. I actually started off using OmniFocus, which is the app that is recommended but I've also dabbled in Things, Microsoft and Google's own to-do list and, a, well, a variety of other applications. All have had both their positives and negatives, but it is only through using these that I've decided on the my app, my final choice of application. Now, due to me reducing the number of days I work in order to promote my recovery, hence part-time work, I needed the app to be free because I took a cut in salary. I needed it to be able to, I needed to be able to add to it um, from a range of devices, including iPhones, iPads, web browsers, iMacs, PC, anywhere. I needed the app to be available so whenever I suddenly thought I've got a job to do or a task to complete, I could add it to it. Now, I have to say at this point that I am not one of those professional task manager expert or productivity gurus. I'm just a person who has found something that works for them. And I would like to share it with you all in case it's helpful for you. So, Without further ado, what is my application of choice? Well, it's Asana. Before we get down to it, I just want to say that in this first video, I'm just going to cover how I have Asana set up for my tasks. I'll make another video later about my workflow and how I keep up to date and how I create rules, etc. Videos of all aspects of Asana will be coming up. So, you know, keep an eye on my YouTube video stream if you are interested. The other thing that I'm not going to do here is tell you what Asana is. OK, there are plenty of videos out there that you can watch to see what Asana is and what it does. OK, let's get on with it. So the first thing I want to talk about is Kanban views or boards and list views. So a Kanban board is when you have columns and you move tasks along the column. So they start off, you know, waiting to be done. Then they're in process and then they are completed and then they are archived or you'll wait. There's a column to say that you're waiting for some person to get back to you now. I must admit that when I first started to use uh, Asana, I was completely dedicated to, to the Kanban board view. I really liked it. it. There was something quite reassuring to move tasks along the board's columns as I completed it. 
I did, however, very soon move away from the Kanban boards in the favour of the list view. It actually took me a while to get used to it, but now I rarely go back to the Kanban view at, at all. However, one of the things that I really like as, um, with Asana is that you can have, or it allows you to have multiple views of your to-do lists. So if I ever want to reminisce for a moment, I can flip back to that board view and just go, ah, oh, I remember you fondly. So the next thing I would like to talk to you about are projects and tags. Now, this was probably the biggest learning curve for me using a task manager. I used to have so many projects that it was actually actually unbelievable how many I had and quite frankly it was unmanageable. Now in the way I work I'm not completing big projects like uh, a company might be doing. Obviously projects, this might be a project creating the video but I decided to um, use a different feature of Asana called Subtask to support with um, tasks such as making a video. So what I did was that I started to look at broad overarching projects that I can actually have. And the more and more I used Asana, the more and more I reduced the number of projects. And now I literally have six. And these are home, um, which is all about things I have to do in the home, like cleaning and cooking, etc. Content creation, which is all about making videos or taking images, etc. RPGs, role playing games, where I have all the tasks that I need to do with the rules of the two campaigns I rule. Um, GM and any rules that I need to brush up on and any creation I need to do. MMOs, which is my main streaming um, information. And that might be changing soon to streaming rather than MMOs. I have one for work and I'll talk about that in a different video. And finally, the sixth one currently at the moment are films um, because I decided to put all the films that I needed to watch into a project. And you might recognize that that's not actually a project. It's actually a list of films that I want to watch and there's no complete, well, there's a completion, but that's it. So that might be going. So hopefully you can see even after years of using Asana, I'm still evolving and changing things. Now, those are my projects. And the other thing that I wanted to talk about is tags. Now, I actually use tags to instead of multiple projects a lot of the time. So, for example, I, I used to have a project for blogs and a project for YouTube, but now I have tags for blogs and tags for YouTube. And what this allows me to do is tag tasks that are in different um, projects or different views. And I can start using the YouTube tag um, in a number of areas. OK, and what these tags actually allow me to do is that I can press on the tag and it will bring up all the um, tasks that are assigned to that tag. So let me give you an example. I might have a video to create um, in my content creation project and my RPG project. So it might be something that brings both of those together. Now, what I can do is that I can tag that project uh, with the YouTube tag. So when I actually click on the YouTube tag, it will take all the tasks that are assigned to making a YouTube video and bring them together in one view. So I can see it really easily. And of course, those will be tasks across a number of projects. And the next thing I want to talk about is sections. OK, so one of the um, functionalities of Asana that I've really found supportive to my wor workflow has been the use of sections. So within any projects that you create, you can 
um, separate the tasks within that project into sections. So, for example, in my role playing game project, my RPG project, you will see that there are a number of sections within that um, project so one of them might be um, one of well two are separated out into the two campaigns I run which is a Mithras campaign and an M space I also have one for World Anvil which is where I store all my campaigns idea and people can go and check them out there and I can then also put in sort of like general admin work or just an inbox there to hold tasks as I put them in. Now, interestingly enough, and I, I'm sure a whole load of Asana gurus are going to be holding their hands up in horror and disbelief when I say that this, but as well as the sections, I also tag them. So the sections allow me to see a, a view um, that I can see everything is in the right place. And so when I look at my project, I can see all the sections and everything in that sections. But I also tag them as well. So say, for example, my Mithras campaign, you will notice that even though it's in the Mithras section, it also has the Mithras tag. And this allows me to search and or order, reorganize my tasks a lot easier. So Asana Gurus, sorry, sorry, just look away for a while. So the other area that I use sections on um, is my main task page. And rather to being assigned to projects on this view, the tasks are organized via time. Now, these are set up or achieved by the rules that you get um, free when you set up Asana. And I'll go into the rules about those and how to set them up in a later video. So the view, my task view, the sections are not ordered by project, they're ordered by time. Now, there are two that are slightly out of that sort of like organization. Um, the first one is my work section. Now, this is a project that has all my tasks on it, but I actually like to open up Asana on my tasks and see it straight away. So I put it at the top on my front page so I can see it straight away. Um, the other really good thing about it being there is it keeps me informed when I'm at work, but when I'm not at work, I in my part time job, I can collapse it. And so I don't get distracted by it or I cut off from work altogether, which is good. The other thing I have is a section called today's to do list. Now, the due today section that are those are tasks that will appear here that have completion dates. So it was saying you need to do this now and it'd be in that area. My today's to do list is I use this in two ways. Um, the first way is that I might have a task that has no um, no um, date. It, it's, it's it's not in a project or anything. It's just needs to be done. And then that's it. And rather than creating it somewhere, I'll create it in that list ready for the day's work. The other way I use it is that I will c collate tasks from elsewhere in Asana to fill up my day. So on a non-working day for my part-time work, I will bring tasks into that to-do list. So I'm not looking at everything on Asana. I'm just looking at my to-do list for that day. And this allows me to keep really focused and uh, consistent in the sense that I know what I'm making and creating that day and I can work in order to achieve that. Yeah. And I think that's it for the sections on the front page. Now, the priority tasks or tasks that get moved to today's to-do list, I usually do that um, either the night before or in the morning over my coffee and cereal. So I'm quite in a routine, but I'll talk more about that in a, a future video when I talk about my workflow.
And that's sort of like a quick overview of Asana and how I use it. Now, I have to say that the system works for me. And that would be my first bit of advice to anybody who's looking at a new task manager or a new process to use. You know, go out there, have a look at um, different programs, find one that you really like and then develop it and evolve with it as you use it more and more. And don't be afraid of that. You know, we we don't get. Um, the perfect situation, you know, and in as in the Instagram reel when it always says practice makes perfect and he says remove that, it's practice makes improvement and that's what we're doing. In future videos, I want to talk about my workflow, how I use subtasks within tasks and how I create templates for tasks, um, all while keeping Asana completely and utterly free. I'm not paying for it at all. So I hope this has been useful for you. I hope you have um, enjoyed it and found it useful. If you have, then please consider liking, commenting and subscribing to the channel. And it would be great to hear from you if you use Asana and how you use it, or if you have a, a different favorite task manager that you have been accustomed to and are completely synchronized with. So yes, let me know in the comments below. Okay, so until the next video, please stay safe, stay healthy, but most importantly, stay positive. Oh, and of course, stay organized. See ya. Bye.